All right, guys, I'm at Saraga International Grocery Store here in Indianapolis. This is the place that I always talk about in my videos. I've never actually gotten any footage here. A year ago, I got footage at Little Saraga on the south side of Indianapolis, but this is Big Saraga on the west side of Indianapolis. This is where I'm going to get most of my fruit, especially exotic fruit. So I'm going to go ahead and get inside and get some footage. All right, guys, I'm going to start from the back here. Pineapple, oranges, papaya, melon, mandarins, watermelon, durian, pumpkins. Let me go ahead and go around this way over here. Pomegranates, apricots, apples, cactus pear, guava, clementines, nectarine, cherimoya, star fruit, passion fruit, more apples, and I'm gonna walk around this way. Oranges, pomelo, more oranges, mandarins, grapefruit. Apples, avocados, peppers, more apples, lemons, pomegranates, clementines, apricots, papaya, peach, guava, kiwi, nectarines, cherimoyas, rambutans, dragon fruit, tomato, watermelon, and there's jackfruit over there, zucchini, cucumber, and here's the banana aisle. Lots of bananas. Cantaloupe. More oranges. Let's get a pan of the whole produce section. Cherries, grapes, berries, kumquats, strawberries, tomato, yellow mango, persimmons, apples, more apples. Alrighty then. Alright guys, so I'm home from Saraga and this is my produce haul. Got 12 yellow mangoes. Those are my favorite kind of mangoes. Got these rambutans. Those are really good. I'm going to use the banana boxes to put some of this fruit in. Dragon fruit. Those are good as well. All this stuff is good. I went ahead and bought a durian. That's a five pound durian. I'll let that thaw out and probably go ahead and eat some tomorrow. And pineapple. I also got caramoya. So this needs to ripen. It's not nearly ripe enough yet. Caramoyas are good, they're kind of like bubble gummy. And I'm going to reuse all these plastic bags. Bananas. Persimmons. Persimmons are good. These need to ripen up too. You want to let them ripen to where they give in. They're kind of like avocados. They need to give in, but not too much. And speaking of avocados, I got a couple avocados. So, probably eat half of these at a time and put some in this box, I guess. I put newspaper down because there's a hole in the box. And I got these sweet peppers. And yes, they're a fruit because they contain the seed. 
anything that contains a seed or a pit or anything that's supposed to contain a seed or a pit is a fruit. So these grape tomatoes are non-sweet fruit. These cucumbers are non-sweet fruit. I guess this will just be the non-sweet fruit box over here. And that'll be the sweet fruit box over there. Um, red pears. There's many different kinds of pears. I'm a fan of the red pears. I like red pears. Green pears are pretty good too. I like how soft red pears are. Blackberries. Someone was asking me where I'm going to get omega 3s from. Blackberries. Good source of omega 3s. So this is going to get filled up pretty quickly. Medjool dates. King of dates. Medjool dates. Got all those for 624. I'll probably put those in my refrigerator because they were refrigerated at the store. A good way to tell if something needs to be refrigerated is if it's refrigerated when you buy it. If it's refrigerated when you buy it, then it probably needs to be refrigerated. If not, then it doesn't necessarily have to be. Or if your avocados are getting too ripe, then you can put them in the refrigerator to stop them from ripening so much. I'll take these out because I'm going to put those on my counter. All right. More bananas. And got these as well. Plantain. So let that ripen until it's basically black. And then just eat it like that. And cantaloupe. So some of this stuff is to monodyne on, some of, some of it's to just snack on. Um, like the mangoes, I can monodyne on. There's 12 here, so I have like six for one meal, six for another meal. Uh, the durians, I have for probably two meals. And then like the blackberries, that's just like for a little snack, you know. And then I got the exotic stuff, just to get exotic stuff every once in a while. And then the non-sweet fruit to have more in the evening time. So Saraga is a pretty inexpensive place to get fruit. It's probably one of the cheapest places in Indianapolis to get fruit. And all of this was $82.21. That sounds like a lot, but the reason why it was $82 is because the bulk box of mangoes was $15. So $12 for $15 is a pretty good deal because that's a little over a dollar. And then the durian... It's like, it's like a five pound durian and that was $1.99 a pound. So that was like $10 by itself. And let's see, the dragon fruit was $8. The cherry was 6 And the dates were 6 So if I didn't buy the exotic fruit, it would have been a lot cheaper, but I wanted to get some exotic fruit too, so... Alrighty then, that is my haul. My first fruitarian haul. So let's get a good picture of that. All that stuff should last me a couple days. So, alrighty then, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.